so this is going to be a Aries Sun Moon and as well rising uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading December 30th to February 5th a uh, 2020 and so uh, if you do want to get in touch with me guys you can check the uh, description down below of the video and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can see all the services and the pricings for their service for these services and as well the contact form of getting in touch with me so that being said moving into the reading directly here the first card which stands as a topic of your love and relationship week is going to be the two of swords followed by the energies which are feeding uh, the uh, topic and the team that is going to be the two of wands then the third card that we do have is going to be the um, challenges that you have to overcome and it's uh, it's quite of a week for you Aries it seems that well let's get into it when I'm done with uh, showing all the cards so the fourth card here is going to be the gifts and the blessings that uh, you are going to be uh, enjoying throughout the week that is going to be the five of uh, cups followed by the uh, sixth, uh, the fifth card here, excuse me, which is how people see you. And that will be the 10 of uh, ones, how people, I mean, how your friends and family is gonna see you, how your person of interest is seeing you, how your partner is seeing you, and so on and so forth. So we do have 10 of ones. The uh, sixth card, is um, what is going to help your long-term goal in regards to love and relationship that will be the temperance followed by the next one which is what is going to hurt your long-term goal um, in, in regards to love and relationship that is going to be uh, the king of pentacles and the final one here it is the guidance the tarot is offering we have the uh, page of wands all right so uh First two, uh, we do have double two, so it's kind of like a week of uh, passiveness, but that doesn't mean that the week is not important, all right? Actually, it's very important because you are going to be in a standstill for a reason being it is, a, well, a couple of reasons which one is more plausible than the other now one of the reasons it is that you don't want to miss anything and therefore you don't want to make a wrong move the other reason it is that you have to decide about uh, your love and relationship life where is going on from now on and you don't want to make the wrong move now, I do believe that it is the second one that is more plausible. That is due to the uh, energies which are feeding the, uh, uh, the situation. And what, I really, what kind of a story it really tells us, it is that you are reaching a point of a, uh, of a break, okay? Or kind of like of a, uh, uh, a breaking point where you just simply don't want to endure certain things in your love life or into your relationship life or whatever. And for that reason, you, disp you are to display, you know, your expectations in general. So uh, long story short, you know, you approach or kind of like confront your lover. You say, look, we can't keep on doing this thing anymore and we have to change something. And you kind of like you are to say what you are expecting to change and from there it leads to stand still so you observe is what uh, you know your expectations are kind of fulfilled and uh, that is for a reason being is that um, if you are patient to long to to wait long enough um, then the right decision for you or right direction for you is going to become obvious that being said, the right person for you will become obvious to be with, okay? Uh, the right decision should you stay or go is going to become obvious as well. Uh, should you have a child or not as well is going to become obvious. So everything that baffles you and you don't know what to do about it, um, if you display your concerns, which you will, by the way, because it's just the energies are going to force you to do so, and then wait to see how the circumstances are aligning in that regard, is going to become obvious to you. So you will know what to do in regards to your love and relationship life. And this week, that's why it stands still, because you are to observe what is the most potent direction for yourself. 
So what is going to be the challenge? Now the challenge it is the justice card. Uh, and uh, that is the keen uh, eye for the differences, the a tendency of um, astute discernment into the facts that are presented to you or into the situation that it is happening around you. Okay, so the justice here points that you have to tip the scale or kind of like to tip the scale in balance. Um, it looks like to me that you have uh, kind of like gave way to, well, I would say it that way. Not, not you, but one of you have gave or giving too much. And now the challenge is going to be those scales to be in a balanced position once again. So uh, that being said, it does depend from which side of the scale you are finding yourself at. If you uh, have given way too much for to make a relationship or for to uh, sustain a relationship, now it's time for you to stop and see if the other one um, is going to do the same. I mean, is they, they're going to do their part in it. If not, well, then the right decision for you becomes obvious, isn't it? Um, if they do, once again, the right decision for you becomes obvious once again. And same thing goes if you have a person of interest, you do, for example, way too much uh, to make a connection with them. And now it's time for them to do their part as well. And if they don't, well, again, the right decision becomes obvious. If they do, once again, the right decision becomes obvious to you. But maintaining or rather like restoring the balance into the interactions you have with your lover, with your partner, uh, with your person of interest is going to be the challenging part in this uh, in this week. Gifts and the blessings here, we do have the five of cups. So that being said, many, um, many things you like needs to be overlooked throughout the week. For example, you like to talk with this person, but now it's time for you to leave them to get in touch with you. So you don't call them anymore throughout the week and unless they call you. And that may kind of create, usually may kind of create a feeling of despondency. Well, that is not going to be the case throughout the week. So it's kind of like those, um, unpleasant circumstances that are coming around with the passiveness you have to stand with uh, throughout the week is not going to be a big deal for you at all. That will be the gift and the blessing. So um, if I have to give it in a more broader um, explanation, whatever hits you are to take, they are going to miss you. That is the gift and the blessing you can enjoy um, in regards to your love life throughout uh, throughout the week. Another thing is that um, if you have to suffer a certain losses, let's say, you know, that person doesn't do uh, as much as you have anticipated and therefore the right decision becomes obvious to you that you have to leave it behind, uh, that is not going to be a big blow to your emotional state, if a blow at all. I mean, you are going to um, overcome it for a couple of hours, let's say, or for a couple of uh, days. So the other thing it is how people see you, and that is the Ten of Cups. So people were seeing you as a um, someone who had enough of it, and if uh, enough of the shenanigans and the bullshit. And if you don't have it the way you want it, you are not gonna have it at all with this person anymore. All right. So people were seeing you as a, someone who has a certain expectations, rules. And as well, uh, how can I say it? a code of conduit, how thing is to go forward. And if though and those who does not align into this um, narrative or into this game, I would say it game, the rules of the game and the game itself, they simply ain't gonna play the game at all. And um, doesn't matter what uh, the game is all about, either for a big thing or a small. At the end, the winner is going to take it all and you kind of intend to be the winner at all. So yeah, people will see you as a very serious and uh, how can I say it, um, devoted person, but you also expect devotion and dedication from the other side as well. So they are not going to get away with just, you know, calling you or giving you a small pieces and then expecting you to do the rest. 
So the other card here points to uh, what is going to help your long-term uh, relationship and love go, and that is the Temperance card. So Temperance in regards to love and relationships speaks for the um, self-awareness, if you will, that certain things are simply not meant to happen. And once again, uh, it's, it's a matter of individual, it's a very broad reading, to be honest. So how can I explain it? Temperance points that there is a, a certain formula, okay? So you do have a certain formula for to be loved or to be happy in a relationship. And this formula cannot be reached with every individual, right? And this is the week where you are to observe, is this formula fulfilled by the person you are interested in or by the person you are with? Or is this formula not fulfilled and you have to keep on seeking for someone who is the right ingredient to your formula? That being said, things which are going to help your long-term goal are a compassion, solidarity, and also the honor of the differences as well. It's kind of like uh, respecting the different opinion in a sense of that if this person does not fit your formula, well, they are not necessarily bad, they're just not for you or you are not for them. And you just have to, you know, move on as well because there is no point trying to uh, make a wine from water because it's not going to happen at all. It's not a philosopher's stone what you have. So uh, the other card here stands for what is going to hurt your long-term goal. And that is a person who is an, uh, some, some kind of an advisor to you. And uh, what this person really does, they're saying that if you, do, if you give um, as much as you can, eventually the thing is going to pay off. Well, not in this case. You can give as much as you want if the person does not fit into your formula that you want to be with or that you um, are with, okay? Things are not going to happen and vice versa, you know, if the person fits into your formula, no matter, no matter what happens, the things always are going to happen. So we do have someone as an, an advisor who is trying to um, ground you or rather like give you an, an objective uh, explanation of what is going on around and therefore through that objective or kind of like logical explanation things are making sense but as well they are not having a, a physical manifestation at all okay they are making sense for the logical side of the explanation but it is not how you feel and therefore you should uh, follow your feelings and your emotions and as well uh, the uh, the urge of your soul instead of uh, following you know just logical explanation uh, just to give you an example of it um, it's like being in a relationship that's it's it's already exhausted and you do have that counselor or advisor let's say your father who tells you well you have to give more and then the relationship is going to improve itself well it's it's not really isn't going to improve itself it's one relationship you have to give willingly it should not be forcefully so the last one it is um, the guidance that Tara is offering to you and that is the page of wands Page of Wands urges you to be um, open for everything new, okay? And under anything new, I'm talking about the new deductions or the conclusions that you are going to come about when the standstill is over, where you already have every information you need in order to make the right decision here. And another thing that the Page of Wands uh, is advising you to is, not, is do not be afraid to be alone, guys. Um, as a matter of fact, this is the way how you're going to sense what freedom is and as well, this is the way how you're going to realize that you are much stronger than you thought on your own. So that being said, uh, Aries, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, if you do want to get in touch with me, you can check out the uh, description down below of this video. And there you're going to make uh, there there you're going to find the link to my website uh, and uh, through which you can schedule a, a personal reading with me. I uh, hope you enjoy the reading, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.